Why is the background so blown out? There we go. Now if I walk out here, there we go. You see what's behind me? So, that was my, my propane guy. 608.86. Yeah, pretty pricey. That's propane, that was a fill up. Tanks were down to like, I don't know, 10, 10 PSI each, 20 total. Uh, we're supposed to get some more snow this weekend, so we're like, hey, we need some propane bad, and they need to come out here. Golly. It's $3.59 is the unit price. 169.6 gallons. <sighs> yeah, 608. So, what's new in 2022? I'm Frank Atwood, welcome to the channel. This is a series uh, moving to Maine. This is kind of a one-year follow-up. As you can tell, uh, I think the last time I talked to you in the first video, I was talking about the propane. You know, I pointed out my dumpster. Oh, I got a dumpster, yay. And then I had two other tanks over here from uh, that propane company that's nationwide. They're out of Texas, uh, Amerigas, whatever it was. I got rid of them because they didn't come out when I needed them to. This guy came out when I needed them to. That's why I like Kobe and Gale. They're local. Uh, new and up to date, right? We had that, we turned in the rental car, and we got that, the uh, Subaru Ascent. That's new, that's what I just got. Um, she bought that in December, and the lady at the town office, God bless her, she said, come back in January and do your registration in. Excise tax is a thousand bucks on that brand new vehicle. However, didn't have to pay it. As of January 2022, the new legislation is in effect. If you are a 100% disabled veteran, no matter what branch of service, you don't have to pay excise tax. So I just saved a thousand bucks today. I paid 158.79 to register both my vehicles. So I'm extremely, extremely excited about that. Um, what a day. Uh, so I don't care if I have to pay 600 bucks for propane. What I didn't spend on that, that's the propane bill, right? Also, uh, I needed a new roof. When I bought the house, remember I said they gave me money for it? September, we got a new roof. So September 21st, I think I was in New Hampshire at, the, at that school down there doing the postal, uh, the postal school for the postal service. I, yeah, I work part-time over there at the postal service here in West Cassett. So we got a new roof done then. They got that knocked out. I think it was 7,200. And then 300 bucks for three sheets of plywood because like 100 bucks a board. Uh, yeah, that stuff's pricey in this day and age of COVID. Everything's, you know, going up. People getting ripped off left and right, right? Uh, quick tip. If you do buy a house like me out here in the country and you want to be able to get up your driveway, you're going to need to sand it. I got a kid that does this. He plows and he sands like 100 bucks to plow this all the way to the road. It's like an 800 foot long driveway. And... Sanding's another 75, so 175 if I want the whole thing plowed and sanded. I had him plow and sand it because obviously I just have my propane guy up here and he won't come up here if it's not sanded. Uh, he didn't have to plow today because we just got a light dusting, as you can see on the ground over here. It's just a real light dusting, like not even half an inch, uh, maybe a quarter of an inch of snow. So it was really light, didn't have that much to deal with. so. He just, I gave him a hundred bucks because I said, put it down heavy because they, they panic. The propane drivers were like, oh, if it's not sanded, I'm not coming up there. And yeah, my road was pretty slippery uh, earlier until they came out and they sanded. Um, a lot of times I'll sand it myself because I got two teenagers, right? Two teenage boys and I put them out here with a, uh, <laughs> I cut like a milk jug in half and they use the top half and then we fill it up with sand and they, they just walk 
down the path there, shaking it back and forth. I use that play sand because I'll check the weather. If it's gonna freeze that night, uh, while the ice is still wet and glossy, I'll have them shake that stuff all over it. When it freezes, the next day, your ice looks like um, an emery board or like a light grit sandpaper. And it it's really works well. You can get it at uh, Lowe's, I think I, I bought there, for like $3.75 or something like that a bag. It's the, the it's either the children's play sand or the, what's that other construction one? Uh, Quick Crete uh, general sand that they have there. It's in the clear plastic bag, bag there. It's a general purpose sand. That's real fine sand crystals. I like that because it sits on top of the ice. When it freezes, it makes it abrasive like sandpaper. My UPS guy loved it because he comes up here. He's not afraid anyway, but he comes up and he goes, dude, I didn't slide it all on your driveway. And I'm like, that's because I use that that sand. So if you need to get, if you need to sand it yourself, I recommend the play sand. The other sand that he just put down tonight, as you can see, it turns to mud. And it's great if it freezes and it still gives you traction in rocks and stuff like that. But a lot of the times, the mud in that, if it warms up enough, like it's kind of getting warm now, um, a lot of that stuff will melt and fall below the ice. And then you get like, oh yeah, I see you, you sanded, but it's below the ice and it doesn't help anybody. The stuff he put down tonight, the temperature dips down again and gets really cold. That stuff will, this will stay on top and it'll be fine. Um, I don't have anybody else really coming up here. The trash guys are awesome. That's, uh, you can't see the sticker got messed up, but it's Riverside that I use, Riverside Disposal. And they're awesome. That guy's not afraid to come up here and his truck's so heavy, it just goes. He comes up here, he came up here before I sanded when it was icy and stuff and he made it all the way up here, no problems. I was like, golly, that truck's heavy. And it just made it up here. They, he backs up, turns around up here and the, they pull up in there. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but they'll pull up in here, see the tire marks? And then they do a three point turn by my dumpster and then shoot back down the hill. And as you can see, I'll walk over here so you can see a little bit down the hill. Here, I'll just hold it out here so you can see. As you go down the hill, it goes down. The things you need to worry about are the basic necessities, right? You need a house that's gonna fit your family. I can't stress this enough. If you come up here and you buy a tiny house because you've seen that stupid television show on TLC, you're gonna regret it. Buy a house that is big enough for your family, okay? You buy a tiny house, you're gonna kill each other. The winter's gonna be not even gonna be over and it's gonna be like The Shining, all right? You're gonna be like chasing each other around the house with an ax. I'm telling you, get a house big enough so that everybody has their own space and they can all go in their own rooms and do what they wanna do. All right, so I've decided to answer some of your questions. This one comes from Boston Girl. These are from the, the comments down below the video uh, of the old video. Uh, Boston girl commented, hi Frank, uh, hope all is well, we need more videos. <laughs> and to that I say, you're welcome. Michelle Novoli commented, what are your thoughts on Washington County? Well, Washington County, uh, it's named after George Washington, good guess, huh? And it's the largest producer of blueberries in the country and in the world. Uh, it's a paradise if you're an outdoors type person, you want to go hiking, uh, canoeing, kayaking, all that good stuff. It's, it's perfect for that. Um, it's, a, it's a good place if you're an outdoors person and you're into nature photography. Uh, it is uh, uh, further up there, um, up by the easternmost point of Maine. You probably get the nor'easter pretty hard up there. Uh, that's the cold wind that comes through in March. It usually dumps about two feet of snow on us. Um, and just know that it's more remote than, than most places, but beautiful. And if you're into peace and quiet and small town life, I think there's like 34,000 people that live in that area. So I, I say go for it. If you, if you want the peace and quiet, uh, go ahead and go for it. It's, it's a good place to live. Soldier for Christ. I have family in Holton, and she said they pay almost $400 a month for heat in winter. Well, if you would notice at the uh, beginning of this video, she's not lying. Uh, $608 was this last fill-up. Uh, price of propane's gone up a little bit. So, yeah, that's, that's not to be unexpected. Everything has gone up since the pandemic has started. 
And uh, I think that was the underlying thing. Hey, let's let's uh, gouge these people for all we can get. They shrunk their products. If you notice a lot of stuff in the, the stores, I went in to buy a bar of soap or something that I usually buy because I like the bars of soap. They last longer. And uh, yeah, it was a smaller size because I had uh, one of the bars left from an eight pack or something. And when I brought the new set home, I noticed that the box was shorter, the soap was smaller. So yeah, they've shrunk stuff and charge more for it. It's all about gouging you. All right, John, what about, oh wait, I'm sorry, Jane Elise. Any advice for someone who has lived in the South all her life and is considering a move to, to Connecticut or to Maine? Dress warm, loosen in layers, uh, you'll be fine. Get a Subaru or Toyota, an all wheel drive vehicle. Don't get a Nissan, That's, they just burn me. That first video I made, um, the surprise move to Maine one, you saw the Nissan, the 2015 Nissan Pathfinder. That transmission just took a dump on me after I paid it off. I spent 11 grand paying it off and only got 6,000 on the trade-in. So yeah, well, I'm not too happy with Nissan. I don't, I don't think I'll be buying any more Nissans anytime soon. Sorry about that, the sun was probably in your eyes. It's just kind of glistening through the trees over there. That's good, I'll have the sun focus on me. It's a little better, right? Um, what about high-speed internet? I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, our service, our line up there below the power line is, uh, it took a while to get. We ordered that in December uh, when we bought the house and we had to wait on two permits. There's an easement somewhere on the back side of the property back there that uh, CMP has, uh, it's like a causeway type thing. And Consolidated Communications, I think they took over for Ma Bell years ago, um, they own the poles, which are right over there. So. Yeah, we had to get two permits approved and Consolidated was the last one. They tried to sell us on their internet, 10 megabytes of, uh, <laughs> on upload speed. I was like, really? No. Uh, the old lady that lived here had HughesNet and she was getting ripped off. 150 bucks a month for 25 megabytes. I think I told you that story in the last one. Anyway, um, yeah, I had to wait two and a half months to get my high speed internet. But it was worth it because I'm getting 200 megabyte speeds and increases the value of your house because what do people ask when they're buying a house? Does it have internet? High speed internet, we're working from home, right? Um, you you got to remember one thing. This is Maine. You can't have it your way. It's not Burger King. And don't expect it to be fast, okay? Uh, expect to have appointments. If you're going to get tires like I'm getting ready to go do here in a minute, you got to make an appointment. You're not going to take and just get in, get out. There's no, if you're used to that, if you're from the South and you're used to that, oh, I just go down there, I'll be in and out in an hour. It's not happening, all right? Uh, you'll notice most stores don't stay open past 11. There's no more 24 hour stores. The only place that's open in Wiscass at 24 hours is the Irving gas station. And that's because it's on Route 1 and people are still traveling, right? So they got to have gas. Yeah, it's, it's everything slow. When you get up here, if you need high speed internet to do I don't know if you do the uh, DocuSign or whatever that stuff is you need to do. Topsum uh, Library has high speed internet. I think a few other internet places like uh, public libraries like Rockland I know has high speed internet. They, I think they put in fiber or something. But you can go to any library and uh, do your documents there. But I know Topsum's fast because that's where I uploaded my first video when I first got here was Topsum. They have uh, 160 megabyte speeds and they have free Wi-Fi. So you can bring your laptop or use theirs. I use theirs and just took up a thumb drive and when no one was looking and whoop, upload the video. Politics. Some people keep asking me about politics. Maine is a Democrat state. Uh, it's always been blue, always has. Uh, they were big PBS fans back in the 80s, 70s, 80s, 90s, you know, James Taylor concerts, all that stuff. It's not the same as it was. PBS is not the same as it was, that's for sure. Um, but I don't worry about politics. Uh, most people up here in Maine are too busy to worry about politics. And those that are not, I avoid like the plague, okay? So just don't get into any discussions about politics and you'll be fine, especially if they have blue hair, all right? And I'm not saying that to discriminate, I'm just saying, you know, it's not worth it. You're just gonna be arguing, you might as well argue with that tree over there because you're not gonna get through to anybody. Uh, once people make up their mind, uh, it is what it is and that's just how it is. That question was from Nikki. I'm sorry, Nikki. Nikki Venable. Yeah, she. They were worried about the politics. Um, like I said, I don't. I don't discuss it. And then you're good to go. Uh, what about mandates? You can date anyone you want to here in the state of Maine. And if you want to know what 
the mandates are look up the town that you plan on buying a house in or renting in. The best advice I can give you is call the town office or let's say I'm going to move to Brunswick. Uh, I can look up the Times Record, which is Brunswick's local newspaper. They have an online version. A lot of towns have online version newspapers. Look it up. That's usually found on the front page of the headline so you don't have to pay for it. You can do that sneak a peek and then, nope, I'm good. No need a subscription. Oh, they don't have one. If they do have one, it's just announced. Um, Freeport, Bath, and Brunswick are all trying to like push their little mass mandate stuff. I decided <clears throat> to end the video at the lighthouse, Pemaquid Point, right? This is what you're moving up here for. You want to see what's, what's really beautiful. Uh, there's the gift shop. It's closed right now, but this is the state park. As you can see, I've got the sun setting in the background here. Uh, just over the uh, horizon back there. Golden hour gets uh, is much shorter in the winter time, so you want to make certain that you you get up here prior to. Uh... Oh look, the lighthouse is flashing. Can you see it up there? Can you see it up there? I'll stand here for a second so you can take a look. See a flash? It's getting a little windy. It's not too bad.